Welcome to a new series on the channel, having a look at which players you should be targeting for your transfers. Now, in today's video, we're gonna have a look at the players you should be targeting if you still have your wild card, and the players that you should be targeting for your transfers if you don't have your wild card left. I think most managers fall in one of those two camps. So hopefully today's video will help you understand which players you should be looking to bring into your team based on your current chip strategy. Let's start with the defenders for those managers who still have their wild card. And I think that if you do have your wild card, the best time to play it is in game week 34. There's an argument to play it now in game week 31 and go for a bench boost potentially in game week 33. But if I still had my wild card, I would be looking to play my wild card in game week 34 and set up for the remainder of the season. So having a look on screen, these are the defenders that you should be targeting if you are planning to play your wild card around game week 34. And you can see Connor Roberts from Burnley as one of the players that you should be targeting to transfer into your team. Burnley have a double game week in 31 versus Man City and Everton. Then they play Norwich away in game week 32, which is a great fixture. And then they have another double game week in 33 against West Ham and Southampton. So he's got five fixtures in the next three game weeks. Burnley haven't been keeping too many clean sheets, but Roberts does have attacking potential as well. And with five fixtures in the next three, you can understand why many managers are looking to target Burnley players. And Connor Roberts stands out as being the best Burnley defender to target. Ben White is also a cheap route into the Arsenal defense. Arsenal play Crystal Palace in 31, Brighton in 32 before their double game week in 33. And Laporte at just 5.8 could be a fantastic option from the Man City defense. If you are planning to play your wild card in game week 34, Manchester United are a team that you should definitely be targeting. Bruno Fernandes is expected to be the top point scoring midfielder from game weeks 31 to game weeks 33. Manchester United have Leicester and Everton, followed by their double game week in 33 against Norwich and Liverpool. Despite the match against Liverpool being at Anfield and being a difficult fixture for United, Bruno Fernandes stands out right now as the best captain option for 33. If you are planning to play a wild card, you can get Bruno Fernandes in. If your budget is a little bit too tight, you could even go for a Jaden Sancho and know that in game week 34, when Manchester United's fixtures don't look so good, you can just transfer them out when you play your wild card. Harvey Barnes is a good option, but with a couple of tough fixtures before the double game week in 33, he doesn't feel like a priority transfer in right now if you do have your wild card. But we'll talk about Harvey Barnes and Leicester midfielders a little bit later on for those of you who don't have your wild card remaining. For similar reasons to Bruno, Cristiano Ronaldo looks like a great option right now if you're planning on playing a wild card in game week 34. Although he's expected points quite similar to Harry Kane. A lot of managers have Harry Kane and making that transfer from Kane to Ronaldo may not be something that you want to do. Right now, Ronaldo is projected to outscore Harry Kane and he might be a captain option in game week 33 for the double against Norwich and Liverpool. But managers who don't have the wild card certainly more reluctant to lose an asset like Harry Kane. But if you do have the safety net of the wild card, maybe that's a transfer you're more inclined to make knowing that you can get Harry Kane back in game week 34 if that's what you desire. Vout Veghorst, for similar reasons to Roberts, Burnley have five fixtures in the next three game weeks. Veghorst, just on appearance points alone, may outscore some of the other forwards you see on this list. And I think at his price, he's a really good option, particularly if you've got Jimenez in your team and you're looking at making a transfer, getting rid of Jimenez, bringing in Vout Veghorst, I think, is a fantastic move. The Everton boys on the screen, Richarlison and Calvert-Lewin, do feel like a risk at this stage with questions about their form and their fitness. Despite Everton having a double game week in 31, I would be more inclined to go for Veghorst over Calvert-Lewin or Richarlison. For managers who don't have their wild card, the transfer plan is a fairly straightforward one, particularly in defense. Reese James, Cancelo, Robertson, Laporte are the priority transfers 
that we need to be looking at if we don't have your wild card. I don't have my wild card, and these are the players that I'm thinking about bringing into my team. It's just about working out the priority. In which order do you bring these players in? And if you can't afford all of the players that I've highlighted here on screen, where do you try and make savings? I think one of the potential ways to make some savings is to go for a Laporte over a Cancelo. You can see that their expected points are quite similar. And if their points are quite similar, maybe that 1.1 million saving on Laporte might enable you to make a few extra moves in the rest of your team. So Laporte could be a potential way to cover or come close to Cancelo. Rhys James, his expected points in 31 is quite low, primarily down to question marks around his fitness. But if he returns to fitness, if we get confirmation from Thomas Tuchel that Rhys James will start a particular fixture, we saw what he did against Burnley. He is up there with Trent Alexander-Arnold as being one of the most explosive defenders in the game. So Rhys James certainly is a priority transfer in, and Robertson looks like a great option as well if you wanted to go for double Liverpool at the back. Looking at midfield, and the Leicester boys are right at the top of the table as transfer targets for managers who don't have a wild card to play. Harvey Barnes and James Madison are quite close on their expected points. Madison is probably a more explosive asset than Harvey Barnes, but with Leicester progressing in the Europa Conference League, Madison may be rested to prioritize that competition. We may see reduced minutes in the league where Harvey Barnes feels like a little bit safer in terms of his minutes and the potential risk of rotation in the Leicester side. There's not much to split them in terms of expected points, but I do prefer going for Harvey Barnes and just having that little bit more of a guarantee that he will be starting each week. He's returned to fitness now for Leicester and he's delivering and playing quite well. Bruno Fernandes remains a good option for those of you who don't have a wild card. And if you've got someone like Son in your team, maybe you're tempted to make that transfer to go Bruno as a captain option in game week 33. But their expected points between 31 and 35 is quite similar. Not much to split them there. So it is an upgrade of 0.7 million from Son to Bruno. But if you do fancy captaining Bruno in 33, maybe that's a move you're tempted to make. A lot of managers are looking to sell Coutinho right now. He does blank in game week 33, but there's a chance that Aston Villa will have a double in game week 34. And with some really nice fixtures from 34 onwards, Coutinho could be a good hold if you are looking to free hit in 33. If you're not free hitting in 33, I think Coutinho is a really good sell. But if you're happy to play the free hit in 33, Coutinho's fixtures for Aston Villa after 33 are quite nice, and he could be a great differential for the run-in. Up front, Veghorst again is a good option for managers without the wild card. Five fixtures in the next three, and at his price point, even if you don't start him in the final couple of fixtures for Burnley, you don't mind having him on the bench. He is obviously a saving on guys like Lacazette, Calvert-Lewin, even someone like a Jimenez. And as I mentioned before, if you've got Jimenez, I think Jimenez to Vekos is a fantastic transfer this game week. Ronaldo there is quite tempting, but it feels like without a wild card, quite a big risk to sell Harry Kane to then go to Cristiano Ronaldo, knowing that at some point you might want to reverse that transfer. So if you don't have a wild card left, I think making the Kane to Ronaldo move is a bit too much of a risk, even with captaincy in mind in 33. Jamie Vardy, if he can return to fitness, will be a great option for Leicester, but I prefer to make the saving on guys like James Madison or even Harvey Barnes over Jamie Vardy. All right, I hope that was helpful. Just a quick little video of some players that you should be transferring into your team based on your chip strategy. Let me know in the comments below which players you're thinking of bringing into your team Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as well. We'll be back with a live stream before the Game Week 31 deadline as well. So make sure you tune in for that. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.